So for the seeing dead, do you want to come to the VIP tower in the Handsome Jack collection? Games of force! Like the DLC. This guy can drop one. Unfortunately, did not drop it. So the other guy that can drop it's Freddy. You have to kill everybody in this room to get Freddy. So I'm just gonna come my clone out. I'm fast as fuck, boy. So while both my active skills are out, this is why I like this class setup is because my movement speed is out of the out of the roof, right? Like I'm just really fast. And the seeing dead is so clutch because I'll show you what it does after completely. This is a must you need to get. I mean, they're really easy to get, honestly. I should be able to get at least one or two in this run. This is Freddy. get one? Oh, it looks like it's just an auto aim. That's not right. But the other way you can get one is you go up the shaft, kill handsome Jack, and if you don't, just quit the game and you go for another run. So he's not that hard to kill. Just have a corrosive weapon. And you can just keep using your bot, your drone to, or your clone, sorry, to just keep melting everything as he's the reason why the build's so powerful. And that's how you kill him. I should get a scene dead here. There it is, look at it, right there. Being dead. Unfortunately, it's not what I'm looking for, but that's how you get one. So you use that, and whenever Zane damages an enemy, uh, automatically activate all his kill skills. Additionally, all his kill skills get a 10% bonus. So that's just retarded. That's what you, you need this. Welcome back, and for this one, you'll need the Bounty of Blood DLC. So you're going to go to Gen A Planet, and you're going to go Obsidian Forest, and you're going to go Crone's Continent. And you're going to mark this little thing right here. And this is how you farm for the gun I'm holding right now. 
It's called The Light Show. And everything in this DLC has a 33% drop rate. So all you just gotta do is run back out after you kill him, quit the game, start back up. You got a death wish? And I'm back here, so I was going to talk about the seeing dead. And so whenever Zane damages an enemy with his weapon and has a chance to activate all of his kill skills on hit, on hit of his weapon. So instead of his kill skills waiting to kill somebody, if you're spraying like the pistol I'm using that has like a 50 round mag or something, one of those bullets has a chance to, or all, many of those bullets will have a chance to uh, activate his kill skills. So that will help, all right? That's why you need it. And you also want one with uh, the Donny Brook, which is that orange thing right there beside it. You see with the plus three, that's the Donny Brook. I'll show you right here. Uh, you want that uh, to find one with like a plus three or plus four if you can even find one. So it just uh, gives you gun damage and health, missing health. So that's really clutch. You want to max the red tree and uh, get the, for the clone. You want this one. Sh sh Shadow Denth. I don't even know how to say that, but that one and which one's real. You want to max out the blue tree for your drone. And I got the turtle, bad dose, and static field. And then you want to get the purple tree halfway down. Get the sprint to shoot. And I didn't touch the green tree, so that's how I built mine. Seeing dead Zane class mod build because I'm using clone and drone. Put the clone right here, go to the other side, just start shooting. This is what it does on Mayhem 11. It shreds. The Ruiner. DLC Bounty of Blood ending. What I am absolutely doing to him. He's dead. Absolutely too easy.
right, this is Graveward. Here we go. That was grave work for you. See how easy it is. Alright, this is Tron. Here we go. See, that was Tron. 